All right, now investors in a huge New York City development are probably wondering how one of the biggest deals ever has become a Titanic disaster. Monica Bertrand has more on the story for us. Monica. And Matt, the owners of two giant apartment complexes here in New York are turning them over to lenders after missing a payment on the apartments last week. Now, the group, headed by Tishman Spire Properties, was formed with a joint venture with BlackRock in 2006 and paid $5.4 billion for a 56-building Stuyvesant in town property in lower Manhattan. Now the investment group bought the developments near the top of the market with plans to remodel it and raise the rent on regulated units. Since November though, Tishman and BlackRock had been trying to restructure $3 billion worth of loans. The group missed a $16 million payment last week and that plan to raise rents actually backfired after New York's highest court ruled in October that some rent increases were illegal. Even though they paid $5.4 billion as we mentioned for the development back Back in 2006, Fitch Ratings has said the property is worth just $1.8 billion now. A default involving the Stuyvesant Town uh, property would be the second largest for commercial property behind the $4.1 billion default by Extended Stay America Hotels last year. Now, there are plenty of investors left holding the bag on this real estate mess. The biggest holders of mortgage-backed loans in this deal are government-owned Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. And Deirdre, other investors include the government of Singapore Investment Corp. and Gramercy Capital.